Alright, so several people have been requesting a tutorial for the automatic potion room. I've been trying for quite some time now to make one efficiently, but it's turning out to be way too long, I'm not getting anywhere, and it's no one's going to want to watch th that long of a tutorial. So I'm hoping you can just sort of get the general idea of things as I go step by step. Coming around here, uh, hopefully you can read all the signs, but levers, torches, have an indent in the wall here for these because you need a block here below them to cover up some redstone. Over here, buttons on the bottom, torches on the top, and signs in this order. If you want to change them differently, then just pay attention to where these are now, so when I put ingredients and things in dispensers, you'll know how to change that accordingly. Then over here, three buttons and one lever, torches on the top, then normal, strength, duration, splash potion. The rest of the design is up to you, except for this button here, which needs to be somewhere over here on the left because circuitry goes left to right when giving ingredients and things like that. So there is your interior, and one last thing is a middle block right here. Poke a hole in the ceiling, and that's where all your items are going to fall down into. Alright, this right here is outside the first wall on the left. Um, where the levers are for what to give or not give. Uh, copy this design for each four things. Repeaters up here, and then torches on top for input later. Coming over here, uh, again copy this design. I'm not going to walk through the step-by-step -step building. Uh, one thing you are going to miss though is there's repeaters all along down here. And make sure these are set on the second delay. All the rest are on the first. Then below each of these pistons facing downward, there's a torch right here, leading into a repeater. Torch, block, torch, block, torch, and yes, this torch is necessary for getting input later from that. Then over here is getting output to the torches inside. Alright, on this last wall of inputs, you're going to need one of the first design I showed you for the lever. Torch, torch, block, repeater here then a torch on top, then three of the other designs I showed over here, and don't forget the repeater down there, and just three of those, but you don't need a torch on top of this block because this is the normal indicator and you don't need any output from that. Coming back on the other side, on top of these four torches, place four sticky pistons facing upward with blocks on top of them, a little set here for with repeaters and redstone, the redstone leading down to the button wherever you chose to place it, but the button ideally should be on the left. Next, place a block on the left here, bring it down one, two, and then on the third block set a repeater on full delay, and then more of those all the way across here, then we'll place some more redstone over here later. Continuing to go left to right with this set of four inputs, we take one of them, uh, with a repeater here, bring it up one block, then an up another, over, then connect it with a repeater somewhere in there so it connects to all the redstone down there, then come down again, then have some repeaters right here with this redstone behind them, then over here, place blocks above these torches, and then to this side, p sticky pistons facing upward, and then a block on top of each of them. Then place in this position, some dispensers facing outward uh, in this relativity to the pistons, all facing this direction, and then on the last one, and the third to last one, have more dispensers on top of here. When this repeater gets powered and this piston is pushed upward, then the power will activate both this dispenser and that dispenser. These two extra ones are necessary to activate um, the dispensers which will fire out some extra ingredients necessary for certain negative potions. The next output afterward becomes one, two, three, four, five repeaters set on full delay all coming out this way, a block right here, and below it some redstone, two right there, and then a dispenser right here which is facing this way, and that will be uh, this redstone here will activate that dispenser while avoiding some other redstone we're going to place next. And the last of these four inputs after this repeater is another repeater, a block here, block below here, two of them for two pieces of redstone. That goes up into a repeater, block right here, and then a sticky piston facing this way, 
with a block attached to it. This is our three pulser. This is not my design. I'd like to clarify. Um, I had a link on the Reddit post to where I got this design from, and maybe I'll put it in the description of the YouTube video when I'm done with this video. So this is pretty much what it does. Sends three quick pulses, which will be sent to a dispenser located here. And that's connected with this redstone and this will fire the three glass bottles out for us. Just recorded that and forgot to mention you also need a block here which I hadn't placed before to cover up that redstone stopping it to, from connecting with this. That's all. Then you're gonna need to build a big water channel in here around the dispensers so it's high enough that these firing would get stopped by this block but it's low enough so that you can place water in each of these parts right here and this way the water flow will end right at this drop hole so you don't need a sign to stop the water from flowing it'll go pretty well and then this is our collection method now I'm gonna do a little closing up of things just to make it a little neater in here I'm gonna start adding some structure to this tube which everything t falls down that's about it and we're gonna have a water flow coming in here later so this is about all you want to do right now but just get some closure for this tube alright remember that long line of repeaters we had earlier well now we're gonna take that bring the output up one two three blocks and then don't worry about these repeaters yet I'll explain those in a second bring this over and then up one and then only these two blocks should have redstone on it. This third one, leave it alone for now, but just put a block there. Repeaters all along here. And then over this array, we're going to want sticky pistons facing upward with blocks attached to them. More repeaters and then raised up one block should be some dispensers here. Meanwhile, this line of repeaters here is for the purpose of delaying the gunpowder addition, the splash potion adder. And so we're going to have this come over one, two, three, four, block, one, two, three, four, block, and then another one. This is just to add some delay. I'm not sure how well this will work yet. Um, so if I turn out to be wrong, I'll correct myself later in the video. Sorry, but I'm not going to go back and redo everything. Alright, now build this little area around the dispensers here with kind of a floor if you want. But what we're going to be doing is building around here. And then have this so there's one block back here. And then if you place water here, it will loop around and end right at the edge of this hole. So we don't have to place a sign to stop the water flow, which I like. Then we're going to cover that up so the dispensers don't miss. And just for simplicity's sake, cover all of that. And we should be good for structure. Now that that's done, all that's left to do is load the dispensers. So in this order, we have gas tier, sugar, magma cream, glistening melon, blaze powder, spider eye, fermented spider eye in the bottom dispenser, and sugar in the top one. Fermented spider eye and then fermented spider eye on the bottom and a spider eye on the top one. Then over this way, glowstone, redstone, and gunpowder. Then these two dispensers right here, this one should be filled with glass bottles and this one with nether wart. All right, the moment of truth. If everything worked correctly, uh, anything in here should work. So come in here, give it a pretty complex potion, healing, with increased strength, make it a splash potion, even if it doesn't make sense, just see if it will give you the right ingredients. So, bottles, nether wart, I have infinite items turned on, so that probably wasn't a good idea. Glistening melon, or glistering melon, I always get those confused. Then, did our effects work? Gunpowder and glowstone. So yeah, maybe I didn't add enough delay to the gunpowder, but that can be easily fixed, and I don't really think I need to go back and show you how to do that, just figure it out. Actually, I think they can be added in the other order, but just for simplicity's sake, you might want to add some more delay to the repeaters I showed you the outside. But 
Uh, that's about it. Hope you guys appreciated this tutorial. I'm sorry it's really sloppy and choppy. I'm not really good at making tutorials, especially on this scale. So let me know what you guys think, what I can improve on, because I guarantee there's something I could have done better with this video. But until then, see you next time. Bye.